Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel where we help hardworking entrepreneurs save more time, stress less, and rediscover the enjoyment of working on their business. I'm Christina and today I'm going to talk to you about how to make the most out of the relationship that you have with your virtual assistants. So let's jump right in. So I feel like people sometimes overlook just how valuable and resourceful a VA can actually be for your business. More than likely, they're the person that you're gonna spend the most time with inside of your business, and they, they are the person with the most versatile set of skills. Because while most of your hires are gonna be laser focused on the niche or like the, the part of the business that they have to do, your VA has to be like a, a jack of all trades. So if you find a good one, they are going to be the first person you ever hire and the last person to ever leave your company. In fact, you'll probably end up taking them with you everywhere you go. Uh, so before I dive into today's tips, I want to take a moment and give a big shout out with, to all of the VAs out there hardworking and who put up with us every single day and a special thank you to my own VA, Holly, without whom I would probably wither and die of, or die of thirst or something. Now, there's an endless list of bits and pieces that a VA usually helps you with inside of your business, but I'm going to focus on three things that I feel people most often overlook or they plain just don't know that a VA can help them with. So here they are. Before you even think about hiring a virtual assistant to take control of your time, what you need to do first is plan out your ideal week. Uh, so I have a video on that right here. Uh, if you haven't watched that, please pause this video, go back and watch, uh, watch that video and then come back to this. So one of the first things that you're gonna ask your virtual assistant to help you with is take control of your time, aka take control of your calendar. You're gonna do this by sitting down with your virtual assistant and you're gonna tell them, hey, look, these are my priorities, uh, these are the things that I wanna achieve, ergo, these are the types of things that I should have in my calendar, these, these are the types of people I should meet with, these are the types of activities that I should be doing, um, and like this is how much time should be allotted to each one of them. And once your VA understands that, what your VA is going to do is they're going to become kind of like your gatekeeper. Then uh, anyone who wants time with you, they have to go through your assistant to book that time. And here's what this is going to do for you. First of all, it's going to keep you from getting distracted. It's going to keep you from uh, doing stuff on a whim. It's going to keep you accountable. And it allows you to be in the moment and keep building that momentum so that in time you become much, much more productive. Um, now, just so you know, it may take anywhere from like two to six months for the both of you to get used to, to this change and to this rhythm. So you're going to have to allow yourself and your VA that kind of time to just fall into this routine. The second thing that your VA should help you with is your inbox. And this actually kind of has to do with the first tip, which is just as you need to tell them what kind of activities are the most important for you to do, it's the same thing with email. You need to tell them what kind of people uh, you want to talk to. Who are the people who need to reach out to you? What kind of emails are you supposed to see and to respond to? Because if you're like anyone else I've ever met, uh, you probably get like a ton of email every day. And even though you don't read it all or respond to it all, it actually takes you a little bit of, a little bit of time um, to just like scan everything, uh, open, like assess whether it's a useful or not useful email, then respond to everything. So. The easiest way I've found to do this is you actually create a second secret email address that 
is only kept between you and your virtual assistant. So everybody is will still send you email at the same email address that you've always used, but you now have a second email address that nobody else knows. And here's how you're gonna do this. You're gonna teach your VA how to, um, like which emails need your attentions, uh, attention and which not. And your VA is only going to forward you the emails that you actually need to look at to your new email address. So every time you need to check your email, you go into that email address and you know, you already know that only emails that you actually are need to look at and require your personal attention uh, are the ones that are in there and the ones that you're gonna see. So obviously that will enable you to spend a lot less time just managing your email as well as uh, like keep things from slipping through the cracks, like keep you from missing important emails because they were buried under a ton of newsletters or god knows what. Not only that, but what that's gonna also help you to do is, so your VA will in time learn how to answer specific types of emails as you, so maybe you won't even need to answer all emails yourself anymore, as well as like, if I, I'm a business owner, right? So a lot of times people just CC me in conversations that they just need to see but do not reply to, which basically means it's never getting seen. It's like they send me these emails that I then need to forward to my team so that they can take care of it because it's like a maybe it's a fulfillment problem and I don't take care of that personally. It's a task that I don't take care of myself. So I have to delegate it to my teamwork, but that is an activity that could just as well be done by somebody else who knows the ins and outs of how, of how this business works. Imagine how much time that is going to save you. Now, just as with uh, tip number one, this is also one of those things that takes a while for you and your VA to calibrate between the two of you. So you're actually going to start by spending some time with them inside of your email and kind of saying like, yes to this, no to that, yes to this, no to that. They go like Tinder swipe. Yes, no, yes, no. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop now. Uh, so yes, it will take anywhere between, again, two and six months, depending on how complex your business is for you and your VA to calibrate this between the two of you. Tip number three is take your assistant with you on client meetings. Take them with you to the types of meetings where tasks tend to like get created. So usually it's client meetings for me where I get to get down with the client talk about a project or something that we have in development and maybe they give me some edits that I then have to pass over to my teammates or um, I need some information from the client and I have to like take a note somewhere that hey I need to ask them about this in a couple of days if they haven't gotten back to me. Imagine how much more productive you would be if there was somebody there listening to your call and having the confidence that that person is actually taking notes as you and the other the person on the other end talk so that you can actually focus on what's going on in the meetings and not be afraid that you're gonna miss something, that it, you haven't jotted something down and by the end of the meeting you're gonna forget. And not only that, but how much time do you spend after the meeting is done going back through your notes, trying to refine the context um, in, for which the notes were taken and then having to go into your project management system and say, okay, so the client asked me to do XYZ, who's the person on my team who needs to do XYZ? Okay, this is for X client, I'm gonna go into the project management system, I'm gonna assign the task to them and I have to give them a good description and like that takes a lot of time. What I want you to do is take advantage of the fact that your assistant is there to help you and that they know you so well if you been working with them for a while or not um, and they will do all that hard work for you on one hand it allows you to be a lot more focused and in the moment inside of the meetings and like focus on providing value to the person you're talking to instead of focusing on taking notes and making sure you don't miss anything and on the other hand it saves you time a lot of time on the back end because you don't have to take a lot of time after the meeting to do a lot of project management and delegation because your virtual assistant can do all of that for you if you're looking for more tips on how to keep your inbox organized and make it easy for your virtual assistant to help you with that, please check out the video in the description box below. If you'd like to become part of our community, please subscribe 
to our channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.